Hello to all. Welcome to the channel Cloud Knowledge. Today in this video, we'll study about copying Azure SQL database using Azure portal. So let's first study about what is a database copy. So a database copy is a transactionally consistent snapshot of the source database as a point in time after the copy request is initiated. Okay. So whatever tables are present inside the database, let's say 10 tables are present and we are then creating a copy of that database. So those 10 tables at that point of time will be copied for that data copy request. Okay. You can select the same server or a different server for the copy. The server which is there for the source database or the original database, we can use the same server or we can create a different server for that copy instance. Okay. Also, you can choose to keep the backup redundancy and compute size of the source database or use a different backup storage redundancy and or compute size within the same service tier. Okay, so when we are creating the copy, we can either go for the same compute size or we can change it, but the service tier needs to be same. All this which we are discussing here, we will see in the portal when we are going to create the database copy. So after the copy is complete, it becomes a fully functional independent database. Okay. The logins, users and permissions in the copy database are managed independently from the source database. So once the database is created, all these three logins, users and permissions, they are managed independently. The copy is created using the geo replication technology. Once replica seeding is complete, the geo replication link is automatically terminated. So once the replica seeding means once all the data is transferred from the source to the copy database, the geo replication link will be terminated. All the requirements for using geo replication apply to the database copy operation. So the copying is actually geo replication. Okay. So next is to copy a database using the portal, open the page for the database and then choose copy to open create SQL database copy database page fill in the values for the target server where you want to copy the database so this is the home page here's the snippet where the database is ck sql db it is a sql database and on the overview page we have the button the very first button here as copy so so we will be using this copy button here to create the database copy after setting the configurations so Let's go to the Azure portal to demonstrate the same. So let's go to the portal and here we have the database SQL SQL DB and here is the first page that is the overview page of the database and here is the copy option. So we'll click on copy. So it will open up this page where we are going to create a SQL database copy database and we'll have the two tabs get basics and review and create in the basics tab we have the project details that is the subscription and resource group which will be defaulted then source details that is the source databases ck sql db so these three settings are disabled because these will remain the same next comes the database details so what we want the name of the new database copy Okay, so the copy database by default Azure will give you the name as the source database name underscore copy. You can change it here too. Okay, so we we'll leave it as is. Then the server, it is taking the server which was there for the original database. We can create a new server too. Okay, so in this demo, we we'll leave the server as is. Want to use SQL Elastic Pool? We don't want compute and storage we can change here okay so if you click on configure database for the compute and storage it will show you the service and compute tier options that is the service tier is general purpose compute tier could be provisioned or serverless so here in the configure database settings for the service and the compute tier so as per the presentation we can change the backup storage okay keeping the service tier same so we'll leave the service tier general purpose and this time let's say the copy database we want it to be provisioned okay and the provision settings are there 
the V course we want to and then we want to apply this setting. So we have changed the storage. Backup storage redundancy will leave it as LRS. Now we are good to go and we can click on review and create. Okay. So we'll click on create. It is initializing the deployment. Deployment is submitted and we can see that the deployment is in progress. Let's wait for its completion. In the meantime, we can go back to the slide and in the next page, we can monitor the progress of the copying operation. How we can monitor? We can monitor the copying process by querying the system.databases system.dm database copies and dm operation status views. We have the system views and while the copying is in progress, the state DESC, that is the state description column of the system database is for the new databases that to copy. And if the copying succeeds, this column of the system database is view for the new database is set to online. So this system.databases view, we are going to check in the newly created database copy database and we'll see that the state DESC column, state description column, whether it is online or not. Okay. The copying is complete and the new database is a regular database that can be changed independent of the source database. Let's go back here. So the deployment is still in progress. So the deployment is complete. We'll go to resource and we can see that the CK SQL DB underscore copy SQL database is created. And in the overview page, we have the details that it's general purpose Gen 5 2 V course. Now we will check the state description column from the sys.databases view. So we'll click on query editor. We'll log in to the SQL database by allowing the IP. Click OK. And here we'll try to search for the state DESC column as well as all the other columns from as well as all the other columns from sys dot databases This dot databases view. Let's click on run. And you can see that the state DSC column is online. Means the copying has completed. Okay, if the copying succeeds, this column of the view for the new database is set to online. So the state description is set to online both for the master as well as the SQL database copy. Okay. So in this way, we can create SQL database copy and check the status of the successful completion of the copy. Thank you for watching the video. Happy learning. Bye.